Last week, I showed you how I was able to access my home network remotely using a Cloudflare tunnel. This week, let's take that one step further and restrict access to that tunnel so that only a specific user or users can get in. If you're interested in seeing how this is done, then stick around for this video. Okay, so I'm signed into my Cloudflare account. I'm under the Cloudflare Zero Trust area. And here under Access, I clicked on Applications. And you can see here it says Start Protecting Your Applications. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to protect our tunnel so that only a specific user or users can gain access to it. So let's start by clicking on this blue Add an Application button. And here under the Types of Applications, we're going to select Self-Hosted. And then here we're going to give the application a name. So I'm going to call this files. And then here I'm going to call this files as well. And we're going to select the domain, which is qthomelab.com. Now you can change the session duration here. You can see you have all these different options, but we're just going to leave it set to 24 hours for now. And then we're going to come over and hit the blue next button. Here we're going to give our policy a name. So we're going to use an email policy where we're going to restrict access to the Cloudflare tunnel based on an email address. So we'll just call this email. We're going to say allow. And again, session duration, we can change that here or we can leave it same as application session timeout. So that's what we'll do. Let's come down under configure rules. So where it says include selector, we're going to hit the drop down menu and we're going to select for this demonstration emails. But you could see you have other choices, emails ending in external evaluation. You could even restrict by IP ranges or an IP address and by country. But for this video, we're going to use emails. And then here under value, I'm going to enter the email address that I want to permit access to the tunnel. So in this case, I'm going to add my address. But we're going to come up here and we're going to click on the next button and then we're going to click on add application. So now you can see we have our email policy here. The application is called files. We've configured it to only allow the email address quicktechreview at gmail.com. Okay, so now that we have the email policy in place, let's give it a test run. So let me come up to my browser here and let me type in my Cloudflare tunnel URL. And you see here, now I'm being prompted to add an email address. Whereas last week in the video I did last week, it took me right to the login page of my Synology NAS. So I'm going to put in my email address here. I'm going to put in the email address that I entered into the policy. That's the only email that's permitted at this point in time. So let me go ahead and do that. And click on send me a code. And you can see here now, the next screen is asking for a code. So now I'm going to receive a code to that email address and I'll enter it here. I want to point out one thing. If the email address is not in the policy, you will still get this page. However, a code will not be sent. So if it's not permitted in the policy, you're not going to be able to get any further. So let me just real quick check my email for a code. Okay, so I've entered the code that was emailed to me. Now I'm going to click the blue sign in button. And there now you can see I'm being taken to the sign in page of my Synology NAS. So there you go, a quick and simple way to restrict access to a Cloudflare tunnel so that only a certain user or users can gain access. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.